down here in the hills, it was a beautiful drive coming here. This is a gorgeous pond. That looks really good. I mean, the lilies are moving. See how it's blowing over? Look how wide that swath is, dude. Now I'm out of fluid. Well, yeah, that's gonna be a problem. I'm not sure that that's good. You see how they're blowing? Morning. I'm Mike. I'm Arlene. Nice to meet you. So are we going to be treating the whole pond or are we just no, treating? No, just treating the lilies. Okay. And if you would stay away from the dam, okay. all the way around to where the boat is. Okay. Um, if you'd stay away from that, I'll have to take care of it because I don't want the grass on the dam killed okay. because otherwise. I was going to read uh, the label. Uh, did you have an <clears throat> agronomist or somebody tell you what you need? Well, um, I called the pond guy. Okay. And he gave me some figures. Um, I've got his number in case okay. you need to call him okay. on the paper that we ordered our stuff from. Okay. And I just got a brand new batch of it in case we run out. Okay. But I don't think we will because it takes such small quantities. Yeah, yeah. So really, the largest part of this will just be up yeah. here. Yeah, in the back. That's a beautiful pond. Thank you. So like this stuff on the side here? Yeah, uh, I will you, take you, care of that okay. because... It's, I don't want this grass killed. Yep, understand. Because that's what's holding the dirt back. Yep, understand. So This is a gorgeous pond. So we're gonna stay away from these banks right here, and we're gonna treat mostly that up in there because the product that we're spraying could potentially kill the grass, and she does not want the grass to die on the dam up here. Thanks for calling the pond shop. This is Drew, how can I help you? Yes, Drew, this is Mike Yoder with New Way Ag. I do drone spray application. And you guys send product to okay. a customer that I'm going to spray some of this product on her pond to control uh, lilies. And I just wanted to basically call. I've not done much of this product and just, I, obviously I'm, I'm reading the label and I'll follow the label, but wanted to see what your recipe is. So we're gonna be doing, uh, I think it's called tr Tribune Aqua. It's a... Okay a herbicide and clipper SC. Do you have a specific application rate or would you say just follow the label? We do have a rate that we use. Uh, typically we're just using pump style sprayers, so I'm not sure how that's gonna translate for water dilution uh, for your, your drone sprayer, but in terms of chemical application rates, basically what we have per surface acre of treatment area, right? So treatment area is where the plants actively are, so obviously you're gonna have to kind of determine how you're gonna spray this thing with your drone. I'm not sure what your process is there. Like I say, per acre, per surface acre of treatment area, we use one gallon of Tribune with one pint of Clipper and one pint of our aquatic surfactant. Okay, well, I, uh, I appreciate your time and your knowledge and uh, hopefully this will work great for her. So a couple things that we gotta consider is they've never used drones, obviously you heard that. They're using like backpack sprayers, so they're not doing nearly the volume that the label says. The, the label of that Tribune is saying that you want 15 gallons total solution. Their mix would be hotter, so once it sticks to the plant, then it's killing it for sure. Let's boundary it and see what the, how many acres we got, and then we'll know what mix to put in. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just build a temporary boundary on this to see how accurate it is, and then we'll still fly the drone. There we go. Click add, and I'm gonna turn this to zero margins. I'm gonna come down here. Okay, so I just did that temporary just to see where we're at. We're like two acres. That's actually more than I thought. Yeah. Two acres. That's like a little sliver right there, and then all the way around, down, and then that, over that way, two acres. So that'd about, probably be about right, because this section right here would be three acres. Hmm, okay, let's open the drone now. Let's go fly it and see what it looks like. Okay, so I'm gonna exit this, and I'm gonna come in here and choose manual manual plus application rate put this to 15 we're going to put the microns down to try to get better coverage go to 300 microns i think the lower we go the better we'll do that probably bring this down to 15. now what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to take it off and i'm going to run over there and just physically see what it looks like 
because I want to start manual plussing it, seeing if I can get it wide enough to uh, actually do an auto mission. Dude, I almost forgot. What was I supposed to do with the drone? Put it above water. Like if I don't oh, come in oh, here, yeah, yeah. change the sensor to oh, yeah. above water, above supposedly water. they dive into the water because it uses the vision sensor vision to see, you know, what is in front of it. And it would reflect the sky and it would think it's in the sky. So it goes down right into the water. Should we test? No, no, don't hit. No, God, please, no. Yeah, we no. can't, we can't test that. <laughs> Maybe later. Look how high this dam is. I wonder where he got all his dirt to build this dam. Yeah, down here in the hills, it was a beautiful drive coming here, going in through the hills here in Ohio. Alrighty, here we go. This will be fun. This is so cool. Okay, so the leaves, huh. I'm not sure that that's good. You see how they're blowing? Well, yeah, that's gonna be a problem. Well, I had it set at eight. This is 15. But, you know, see how it's blowing over? That might be good for him if it get... Yeah. It has to move like that. Yeah, but maybe it'll kill him better if, if they flip over like that. Yeah, but they absorb from the top. You think so? I know that some leaves eat from the bottom. Okay, so that's 15 feet. I definitely can't come lower than that. No, I would say you, you're gonna push it even taller. You think? For me, yeah. Okay, so well, we'll, we'll go up to 20. But that's the whole thing of, you know, do you fly it slow versus do you fly it fast? Because what we saw here was that it was creating all sorts of uh, water movement and then if it just ends up landing on the water. Well, that's why we gotta go higher gallons per acre, because it'll be more droplets yep. to have a chance of sticking. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to 20. But that looks really good. Look how wide that swath is, dude. Yeah. Now I'm out of fluid. So that was just to test it with just water. I don't know, uh, first thoughts are, it feels like the leaves are blowing. So we're gonna put another load in it, and then I'm gonna call the, uh, the guy that we uh, talked to him about that. So we're trying to process what we think of that. When I have like 13 gallons in it, the leaves of the lilies are really blowing around. Now I've heard other scenarios where leaves eat from the bottom. And so if you can get bottom of the leaf coverage, then it will kill it faster. If that's the case with lilies, then it would be good if they're blowing around. I do think we're gonna go heavier on the gallons per acre to get more droplets to potentially stick on to the, uh, the lily leaves. We're gonna take a video and try to send it to the, the pawn shack guy that I've been calling and ask him about the lily leaves blowing and how that could affect it. Hey Drew, it's Mike again, the, the drone guy that just called you a little bit ago. Yeah, what's up? I just did a test run just with water to see what my parameters should be when I fly over, because we're using big drones. They're like 12 foot across and they got a lot of prop wash. And I can send you a picture of what it looks like to see if you think that we're gonna get coverage because the lilies are blowing around and they're like, gotcha. they, they flip over at times, but then they also lay flat at times. Yeah, I mean, that's, that is definitely gonna be a struggle for you. You know, our, our typical directive on these things when we're telling people to spray them with a pump sprayer is to do this on a very calm day with little to no wind uh, and definitely no rain in the forecast. So, you know, obviously with the drone creating a bunch of airflow, that is probably going to be a struggle. My next question was going to be this herbicide. If we have the, the adjuvant surfactant that we need, what if it gets on the bottom of the leaf? Wouldn't that kill the plant as well? As long as it sticks and holds to that leaf, yeah. I mean, you're looking for a good like three to four hours of contact time before this chemical rinse is off. It, when you're flying over, if the leaves slip over and you're, you know, the chemical does hit the bottom of the leaves and it sticks to it, then yes, it should work. Obviously, it's a good day to spray today. Either way, I'll send you a video and see what you think and go from there. Yeah, sounds great. All right, thank you. I hope you guys learn as much as I am. It's uh, interesting. Either way, I think she still is gonna want this treated. Let's talk to her. I called the pond guy again. He did say that this is two acres of vegetation killing it in this water. He said you might get some fish loss. 
he said you're gonna deplete the oxygen, but he said because you have a three acres that's not getting treated, you have that in your favor. Yeah, and plus we have the aeration. Yeah. So that yeah. always helps. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. I thought aeration puts oxygen in, but that's interesting. Yeah. We're gonna do it at 20 feet again. 20 looked better than 15. It's too much air, but it might be good in a way too. We don't know. Now I see because I'm 20, you see how wide that uh, swath is? So that is at 400 microns, 20 gallons to the acre. I do think we're gonna get better coverage if we go higher gallons per acre. Yeah, so I think that's what we'll do. We'll just have to treat it higher. That was 20 feet, 20 feet and 25 gallons. All right guys, so I got the product mixed up. So after doing those, the test with water, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put less product in my tank so it's not using as much power to keep the drone in the air, hopefully not turn over the lilies. And then I'll just fill up more often. We're gonna try it. We're gonna know if this works or not in about two weeks. I just flew that uh, boundary, and now it gave me the uh, field. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this to 20, 20. Here we go, now we're gonna send it in its auto mission. Now it's gonna do it all on its own. I think I like the idea of speeding it up some, like just going across it. And yeah, behind you. Yep. That looks really good. I mean, the lilies are moving. All right, guys, we're doing it. Only time's gonna tell how good it's gonna work, but honestly, this is about their only choice right now is using these spray drones to get this done. Working good. have two more passes over here and then a couple over there. See how I'm going faster now? I think that's how we should have done it. Cause look, the lilies aren't even moving and it's dropping down on them. Shucks. That's probably how we should have done it. Look, so I speeded it up. They're literally not moving right now. That was close to that tree. Okay, so now we put the drone into faster forward speed than blowing it down. Now the lilies aren't moving. Should have done that earlier, but now we know. Hit it again. Yeah, we should have been doing that. I should have been flying faster. That's it. Okay, I'm bringing it in. There it is. We got it wrapped up. Definitely learned a lot on this. Leave a comment if you learned something using drones to 
you know, spray lily pads, but I definitely learned a lot. I would say at the end when I sped up the drone up to 27 feet per second to fly faster across the lilies, the lilies didn't blow around, so that's probably how we should have done it. But you know what? We'll see. We'll see in about two weeks what it looks like. We're going to come back here, probably fly across it with the airplane rather than driving all the way down here. We'll fly across it and see what it looks like. We'll have to end up probably treating this uh, three times to see how well it actually is going to work. But uh, yeah, there you go. Using spray drones to try to control lily pads on a five plus acre pond. We ended up doing right around two and a half acres for this lady now. So that's all I got. Isn't that cool? Make sure to hit that subscribe button. See you guys on the next one. Definitely doesn't look nearly as thick as it did when we were here the first time.